Hello everybody and welcome back to Power Sessions with Natasha. Um, I'm back with another video as promised. So we are continuing with the series of African writings and today we are talking about one particular writing which is called the Vai Scripts, Vai Writing System. Vai is one of the world's oldest alphabetical scripts in continuous use with over 150,000 users in present-day Liberia and Sierra Leone. It is a highly advanced writing system with over 210 different characters representing various consonants and vowel sounds used in the Vai language. The language, um, however, is actually a descendant of uh, the ancient Mande uh, language of the Mande people. Evidence of you know, the age of uh, the Vai scripts comes from inscriptions from places like uh, Gundoka in Mali that date to 3000 BC. And the Vai script is very close and similar in relation to older Proton Saharan and Tifanaf writings that we, you know, have been found all over the Saharan region. Vai has also been linked to other writing systems in West Africa that were allegedly invented by people who had similar dreams. I don't know if anybody knows how the Vai scripts came about. Even in uh, the Americas, mostly South America, Vai is a similar to scripts that were supposedly invented by Africans who again were coincidentally inspired by their dreams. For example, the Afaka script shares 34 of its 56 characters with the Vai script. That is amazing. That is astounding. So the Monday speaking people have never, when you look into history, have never ever stopped writing in their ancient script. So it appears that the Monday people are keeping and were keeping alive the use of the script in secret societies. And certain secret societies are like the Poro Secret Society. These societies, I mean, look it up, the Poro Secret Society, these societies, they are responsible for tribal education. There is also evidence that the Vai writing was invented a thousand years before 1820. Some people say, oh, it was written in the 18th century. This is supported by the presence of signs comparable to the Vai scripts being found on the rocks from the Fezan. The Fezan is modern day Libya, but it was part of Africa to the Niger Valley and beyond that make up what is the Vai script. Unfortunately, a lot of controversy surrounds the invention of the Vai script. Um, a man named Maurice de la Fosse claimed that Vai informants told him that the writing system was invented in ancient times, which could be true, but we will see as we go through this video. Others claim that the writing system was invented by Bukele, a man in 1829 or 1839. Others say that there was a tradition that the writing was invented by a group of eight Vai men. Some believe that the Vai writing system was not invented before the 18th century, but more probably at the beginning of the 19th century. There's so much uh, about this script. This is the reason why I wanted to make a video about it because it's so confusing for some people. However, the story about Bukele's dream was just a cover if you do your research. It was used by Bukele to keep members of the Gola Poro Society, another branch, another people of the secret society from being angered by Bukele's open teaching of the Vai script because it was never meant to be taught like that. It was a secret script. We know that the symbols associated with the Vai script existed prior to Bukele's alleged invention of the Vai writing because why? It was known to African slaves in Suriname. Suriname is, um, part of the Caribbean. Um, but how do we know this? Because in 1936, um, MJ Herskovitz, he's an American anthropologist, him and his wife went on a field trip to Suriname and recorded a specimen of writing that had been written by a man who, 
you know, while being possessed by the spirit Winti. The Winti spirit is an African spirit and the Winti religion is actually an official African religion in Suriname. Look it up. It's very, very beautiful. It's very amazing. People can actually get married in the Winti religion, you know. So this man was possessed by the Winti spirit. So when the writing was examined, apparently most of the component parts could be found where in the writing symbols of West African languages. So when we examine history, we have to look at that the British took over Suriname and ended slavery in 1799. Years, this is years before Bukele's alleged invention of the Vai writing. So there is no way that a descendant of a Suriname maroon, a runaway slave, could have produced the writing under possession by the spirit Winty if the writing was invented by Bukele. You know, so we really have to do our research. If you read the history of Bukele's alleged invention of the Vai script, we discover that although Bukele dreamt of the Vai characters, he was able to reconstruct the systems not by deeply meditating on the dream. So how did he, you know, remember it? What we know is he retired from his work as a steward. He was a steward. And um, this is looking back into proper history. And we, he returned to his hometown in the Vai chiefdom. But he couldn't forget the idea of having a means of writing. So he asked himself, why can't we, the Vai people, have something like this for our own people, you know? So apparently one night Bukele had a vision which he saw a tall white man who said, Bukele, come, I have a book for you and your Vai people. The man in the vision then proceeded apparently, to show him the shapes of the Vai characters and uh, what would be used in the Vai writing system in this dream, believe it or not. When Bukela woke up, he began to write down the characters he's seen in his vision. Sadly, there were so many, there were too many, um, you know, characters. He could not remember them all. So what he did to have help, he called together his friends and fellow elders and shared with them this, this vision and his vision and the characters he had written down. So his fellow Vai elders caught his excitement. Of course they were excited. They had no writing of their own. And over time, they added more characters in place of those Bukele could not remember. Hmm, very, very interesting because this exact point is the main giveaway that the writing existed before Bukele's alleged invention. Firstly, when we think about it, how could his friends and fellow elders helping recover the Vai signs if the signs were not already invented since these men had not had Bukele's dream? How can you add to an alphabet that doesn't exist? Secondly, before Bukele popularized, because that is what he did, the Vai script, he sought protection from King Fatoro of Goturu in Tianimani for his school. The king granted him protection to the inventors of the Vai script because the king declared himself exceedingly pleased with their discovery which as he he said was soon raised this is what the king said that he would raise his people upon a level with the poros and the mandingos who up until that time had been the only book people which means the only people with the writing system or you know some type some form of uh, scripts bukele needed a king's support for the teaching of anyone uh, the Vai writings because the school's first, the first schools set up to teach the script for, I mean, the areas are called uh, Dishondu and Bandakoro were burned down along with the Vayu manuscripts found in the schools after 18 months. So if Bukele had invented the Vai script, as he claimed, why did he need protection for his schools? We've got to think about that. The answer is that he didn't invent the writing. He just 
popularized it because there had already been an attempt and the burning down of the schools. The Vai script was taught in the Mande secret societies. This is why, even though the script is well known, it is covered in the aura of secrecy, right? The aura of secrecy is supported by the fact that when a man called Thomas Edward Beslow, a Vai prince, he, who attended mission schools in Liberia um, and in, Massach in Massachusetts, in America, he was initiated into the Poro society. He mentioned that in his autobiography that many members of the secret society could write in Vai. So one, the Vai is a sacred thing and people could write in the Vai scripts. So from all of this, what do we learn? First of all, we learn that the Vai script was known to Vai elites. Obviously, members of Poro would not like non-members of the society to know about this writing, yet Bukele was teaching the Vai script to anyone who desired to learn it. So, the Vai scripts would be recognized for their literacy just like Europeans. This is where he wanted to take it and elevate it to. Secondly, it was being taught in the Poro society, which King Fatoro did not actually belong to. When you look at it in conclusion, Bukele probably did not invent the Vai writing. Uh, it's supported by many different things we've seen in this video. It's supported by the fact that one, the symbols associated with the Vai script were well known to members of the Poro secret society. Two, descendants of maroon blacks in Suriname were familiar with the script. Three, the Vai writing for the most part remains in use, but it is maintained in a very semi-secret fashion and not usually shared with people who are not members or kin of members of the secret societies that we've named. Finally, it must be remembered that the symbols, you know, that were engraved on rocks from Fezan, I mean, look it up. Fezan is, you know, modern day Lib Libya. It was, you know, the other side of Africa. I mean, you know, the symbols are engraved on rocks from the Fezan to the Niger Valley and other areas where the Mande live are identical to symbols associated with the Vai script. This shows that the continuity of writing among the Monday speaking people over a period of four, of 3,000 plus years. Also, we can't ignore the evidence from, the, from, from Suriname. Symbols on the rocks near Monday habitations in South America. There are Monday ha um, habitations in South America. And the existence of the symbols relating to the Vai script in other Monday writing systems and their continued use by members of the Vai and members of secret society support the very idea that the Vai writing existed in ancient times and that Bukele did not invent the Vai script. Bukele only popularized it. He wanted um, the Vai people to have popularity and known for languages like the Europeans. That is all he wanted. But in this video, we've seen the origins of it. It comes from the Mande people. This writing already existed, you know. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you've learned something. And don't forget to like and share and comment on the video. So don't forget to like the video. And I've missed you all guys. And I'll see you on the next videos. And bye.